Hi, my name is Matt Eason, and in this video, I'm going to give you a little insight about how long you should expect to be sore after a car accident. I've been practicing personal injury law for over 25 years here in Sacramento, and have dealt with hundreds of cases in which clients call me a couple days after the accident and ask simply, how long is this soreness going to last? By definition, the question is referring to how long you will be sore after an accident, which is somewhat different than how long you might be injured after an accident. After a first gym session in a long time, you'll wake up in the morning really sore. And that soreness at that level usually lasts for about two full days. On the third and fourth day, you're still sore, but it's more of a moderate soreness. By day five and six, it's usually a mild soreness. By day seven, you're not sure if you're sore or not, or if it's between the ears and you just don't want to go back to the gym. For most people, by day eight, you're completely recovered. And you can go back to the gym. And if you're not recovered, then that's usually a sign that you did something more significant than just overworked your muscles. A car accident life cycle is very similar to that of going to the gym, except for instead of being two days, two days, and two days, it typically is two to three weeks, two to three weeks, and two to three weeks. The reason for the longer time period from a car accident at the gym often has to do with when you went to the gym, you overworked one single muscle and one single muscle group. So for a few days, you just relax and rest those muscles. From a car accident, unfortunately, you overworked several muscles or several muscle groups, and so those muscles are pulling on each other and fighting each other for attention. We'll have clients come in and they'll say, yesterday the pain was in my neck, today it's in my back, and an hour ago it was in my shoulder. Some of the reason for the pain feeling like it's moving around is it's a constant tug of war between your muscles for attention. It's that tug of war and the inability for the muscles to rest is what typically has the pain lasting instead of two days, two days, and two days, lasting two or three weeks, two or three weeks, and two or three weeks. When you go to the doctor's office or hospital after a car accident, one of the most common drugs they prescribe to you is a drug called Flexerol. It's a name brand for a muscle relaxant. And as a muscle relaxant, it does just that. It's a big giant pill to get your muscles just to back off each other and stop fighting each other. Unfortunately, Flexerol is probably the number one drug taken one time and never again because it just makes you feel icky. Most people have a better result instead of drugs of having some kind of holistic therapy for it. Obviously, physical therapy is a great remedy. In addition, chiropractic care and in some cases, acupressure or acupuncture can be great holistic care for a muscle tissue injury. By getting that type of holistic care, hopefully it can accelerate your healing time and thus reduce the length of time that you're sore overall. Like when you go to the gym and you get past the eight day mark, if you're still in a lot of pain, that's usually a sign that you need to follow up with a physician for possibly some imaging to determine if you actually tore a muscle and need some kind of surgical intervention or something else. A car accident can be very similar when you get past week six, eight, or 10, and you're still in a lot of pain, that's usually a good sign that you need to get to, into a position to maybe have an MRI done or some other type of imaging to determine exactly what's wrong with you. I've been practicing law for 25 years. I'm obviously not a doctor. However, we've seen pattern after pattern after pattern as to how long pain typically lasts. And hopefully this video explains some of those intricacies for you. If you've been in a car accident or otherwise have a personal injury matter and you would like to talk to an attorney, I hope you will consider calling us. My name again is Matt Eason. I'm with the law firm of Eason and Tamarini. We're located at 1234 H Street, Suite 100, Sacramento, California, 95814. Or you can find us on the web at www.capcitylaw.com. And of course, phone's a great way to reach us as well at 916-438-1819.